Should you be concerned about smokers spreading the coronavirus? And if you're immunocompromised, will it be safe to get the vaccine once it's available? WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now. And Doctor, I want to get right to the first question now. It's from Nicole. She writes, I live with my mom who finished chemotherapy in March. Is it safe for me to get a job or should I wait? That's a good question, Nicole, and it really depends on the type of job. Um, can you work from home? If you have to work outside of the home, can you isolate yourself to reduce your chances of getting infected with the virus? Uh, are you going to be a frontline worker? This is something that perhaps you should talk to your mother's doctor about to make a decision. Dr. Paula wants to know if she should be concerned about being around someone who is smoking and not wearing a mask. So you really shouldn't be around anyone who's not wearing a mask, but especially with a smoker, because as they're smoking, they're forcibly exhaling respiratory droplets out into the atmosphere. And this is an important one. Catherine in Walpole asks, will it be safe for a person with a compromised immune system to get a COVID shot when that vaccine becomes available? So people with weakened immune systems are often told to avoid vaccines made from live virus, but there are a number of different coronavirus vaccines that are in development. Most of them actually don't involve using live virus. So yes, I think there will be an option out there for people who are immunocompromised. So important. Doctor, thank you. Dr. Malika Marshall offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before you make any decisions about your health. And if you have a question for Dr. Malika, you can email her, drmalika at cbs.com. You can write to her on Twitter at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook Messenger, Dr. Malika Marshall.